You often hear us talk a lot about El Nino, La Nina. You've heard both, but those are both a part of a thing called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, which essentially just talks about how there's a certain portion in the ocean, the Pacific Ocean here, where we see increasing or decreasing temperatures. Those ocean temperatures can greatly impact our weather here in Ohio. So when we see those temperatures way above average, what that does is it creates some high pressure there along the equator. That's going to start to shift our jet stream further to the north, our northern jet stream. And what it ends up doing is causing some drier conditions here in Ohio, but also generally warmer conditions across much of the country. El Nino generally brings a lot of strong, severe weather. This is what we have been in for the past uh, a couple of months, so through this spring and even into now, we're in a weaker El Nino than we were. La Nina is what happens when those sea surface temperatures start to drop back below average. So we get those cooler temperatures, we get sinking air above it. This is going to start to pull down portions of the jet stream. This causes a lot more changes in the weather. You get more turbulent seasons, and it can also increase wildfire seasons for the West Coast. It can also increase the severity of hurricane season for the Gulf Coast. With La Nina, which is what we're starting to transition to, it can also change our potential for severe weather. We get a lot more turbulent systems coming through, and it can increase our potential to see severe storms and tornadoes. However, the highest numbers of tornadoes in Ohio have normally been recorded in years with El Nino. 1992 saw a large uh, El Nino effect. We saw 63 tornadoes. 2019 is our second highest year. That was a La Nina year with 58 tornadoes. A La Nina year in 1973 with 55 tornadoes. Both 2010 and 2023 are fourth and fifth spot here were El Nino years with 51 tornadoes in 2010 and 49 tornadoes in 2023.